guys, it's Rebecca from Cascade. Today I'm gonna to show you how to connect your ancillary equipment to your jacketed reactor. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our TCU to the jacketed reactor. We're gonna connect the bottom to the output and then move to the top connected to the input. You wanna connect the bottom hose to the out and the top hose to the in. All right, so now that you have your TCU connected to your reactor, we're gonna go ahead and fill it with fluid. You should have received a five and 10 liter jug of fluid along with your package purchase. So next, we're gonna connect the chiller for your condenser. The output is connected to this lower barb right here. And then the input is connected to the second to the top. And these will be fed along the back with braided hose over to your chiller. Once your condenser is connected to your chiller, we can go ahead and fill it. We like to use an ethylene glycol mixture. So on the left, we have the output, which is connected to the bottom hose barb on your condenser. And on the right, we have the input, which is connected to the second to top barb on the condenser. So now that we have our condenser connected to the TCU, let's go ahead and talk about the compression fitting in tube that is going to be connected to the bottom of the condenser to the top of the receiving flask. So this unit's about to be sent to a customer, so we can't cut this tube, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to show it to you so that you could see how we assemble it. So you take the compression fitting, which it should be attached to the tubing, and then you just hook it onto the glass and then hand tighten it. So now we're ready to hook up the vacuum pump. You will take your braided vacuum hose and attach it to the top barb on the condenser and wind it back and connect it down onto the inlet valve of the vacuum pump. So you're going to connect your vacuum hose to the inlet valve on your vacuum pump. When it comes to purchasing your vacuum pump, you either will receive a hose barb or a KF25 fitting, depending on the model. If you purchase through Cascade Sciences, all fittings will be included. Remember to hook your exhaust hose to your vacuum pump and have it properly vented. Pro tip, keep some zip ties on hand to tighten the hoses to the frame in order to avoid breakage. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.